a group of gang family. So you all have probably seen these kind of pumps popping up all over the woodworks. Uh, this one is the Flextail. Flextail seems to be a reputable brand from what I could see. Uh, I picked this up, it was on sale. I think normally it retails for a hundred bucks. It was 75 bucks when I got this one. So it's always going on sale, so it's always worth checking it out. But we're gonna try out, uh, Ivan's tire actually is pretty much flat. So we're gonna try and see how fast it would take to inflate her tire from zero. It's a 2.4 inch uh, tire, mountain bike tire. So we wanna see if this, these are any good. It is, um, USB C powered, but let's let's get into the box. Let's get into the uh, the box and look at take a look at this tiny mini pump. So this is the package. Flextail is the company. Uh, a tiny bike pump, 110 grams, so super lightweight, uh, up to 100 psi pressure. All right, Type C charging. So that's really good. I'm glad to see more companies rolling around with Type C charging. Okay, so let's out open the box. Let's see what we have. Let's take a look at the back here. Uh, inflation mode. So it looks like it uh, supports the shredder and presto valve. So that's really nice to know. Um, as you could see there, you got your presser, the modern one, and then the, pr uh, the shredder for the older school. Looks like you could do a ball uh, for basketball and volleyball and, and, and such. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's, let's get in the box. That's what we're all here, right? And we're gonna do a live demo of this thing and see. All right, this is the packaging you all are seeing on camera. That's it. Man, super lightweight. I could see people taking this on the road. Only drawback is uh, for this is you, pr you have to charge it every so often. I don't know how long the charge holds. In full transparency, I've had this for, uh, for over two months now. I've never charged it. I've never taken it out of the box. This is the first time. But anyway, so this is it. Has a nice silicone case on it. USB-C in the back. And looks like from the get-go, it already comes with presser attachment. And let's let's turn it, turn it on. Battery is dead. So, gotta charge this quick. All right, so I wanted to kind of show you. It is charging. It does have a charging indicator. And also that is the on and off switch. It didn't like for whatever reason, I have to be transparent here. He didn't like my other USB-C to USB-C uh, charging cords. I'm not sure what that's all about. All right, so we have this fully charged and it turns green once it's fully charged. So we're gonna go run some uh, tests. Hello, welcome to the Bigfoot garage um, where we work on all things bikes today. We have a pretty scientific experiment in store. We are going to test out this new pump, Flextail, and we're gonna see time-wise how they all compare. The floor pump, the, the on-the-road pump, and the Flextail. We're gonna remove valve core so that it gets all the pressure all out. out. We're gonna time how long this takes to get mostly full just by squeeze and then we'll measure the pressure it did and then we'll use that time to test the other pumps and see how much pressure we can get in. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Okay, ready, set, go. There we go. Okay. Now this is with it fully uh, charged to 100%. These are big tires. Yeah, 2.4 inch tires. Oddly loud for a little little yeah, pump, it's like it's pretty, pulling a lot of air. Pretty interesting actually. This is not a lawnmower. It's just our pump. Okay, I don't know if you can see the squeeze. It's that like getting pretty good. stronger. Oh yeah. I'd say we'll, we'll stop it at a minute. Okay, what are we at? We're at 55 seconds. Okay. And then we'll do the pumping. You tell me when? Now. Okay. So, slightly over, a minute, a minute and one second. Okay. It says 11. 11 PSI? Yeah. 
Okay, so 11 PSI of about a minute is what we got out of there. Now we'll try with the floor pump. I think the floor pump is going to win again. <laughs> take your bets now. Floor pump might win. But you're not going to take this with you on, on race day. And also exertion wise. Yeah. We're at altitude. This could yeah, this, this could do me in. And, and let's start now. As you can see here, you can't be the high volume pump, but also you can carry that with you at Leadville. She's going. Let me test the. Oh, yeah, she's going to do it. We are about 20 seconds in. And Yvonne's working hard here. 29 seconds in. This will also be a way to test how accurate our gauge is on this yeah. pump and see if uh, As you can see here, I'm getting a little winded. 38, 49 seconds. And but I'm we're at 20, not even 20 yet. 18 maybe. 45 seconds. I'm pretending like I'm doing CPR so the tire doesn't die. So I'm trying to stay steady. All right. You got two seconds to go. says 20. 20, okay. My prediction is I won't get as much with this one. Correct. But maybe but I'll surprise myself. In one, two, three, go. Obviously I should have done three, two, one. But three seconds in. She's going. Pretty, pretty fast bomb for the side. Okay. Yvonne's working hard for y'all. Um, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Leave us a comment on what you would change with our scientific experiment here. <laughs> you know, give us a like, comment. Okay, we're, it's, it's off the rim. 30, 30 seconds. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting as much in this guy. It would be very interesting to see. So, roll in here. And we are almost out of time. In two, one, done. Okay, there's it. Def, I'm interested to see if it even reads on this gauge. It's way less than with that one. But let's see what Yvonne tells us. This the science teacher. Three is what it's <laughs> reading. There you have it, people. So there you have it. It surprisingly does better. I guess maybe right. our next experiment at the Bigfoot Garage is to uh, see how many tires we can pump up with it so that you know. There you have it, people. So that, that was a very simple test, super lightweight. You know, weight-wise, uh, wouldn't you say that this... I'd say they're comparable. They're comparable, yeah. right? Yeah. But look, look at the size of this. It'll fit a little one. Okay, so my favorite pump, one of the drawbacks I have is that... It um, size-wise doesn't fit in a small saddlebag. Yep, so. exactly. And this can fit in just about anything. Thank you all for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, all that fun stuff. Please leave us a comment. If you want to see how many tires that thing will do before it, it kicks it, we would love to do that as well. Until next time. Yep.